Welcome to The Awakening, Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Donald Trump is back in the White House, marking a significant moment in American politics. His victory marks a return to his strong policies, which have always been a cornerstone of his political identity. Trump has a clear vision for America, one that he believes will lead the country to greater heights. He wants major changes, especially on immigration, which has been a hot-button issue for years. Trump wants to limit who can enter the country, focusing on stricter immigration laws and enforcement. He aims to secure the border and reduce illegal immigration, a promise he made during his first campaign. His plans are ambitious and will likely spark debate both in Congress and among the public. But Trump is committed to his vision of a stronger America, undeterred by opposition. Trump's return signals a shift away from the previous administration's policies, aiming for a new direction. He is determined to put his stamp on the country, making significant changes to the current system. His supporters are energized and ready for change, believing in his vision for the future. The world is watching to see how Trump's second term unfolds, with many anticipating major shifts. His actions will have significant consequences both domestically and internationally shaping the global landscape. Project 2025 is a detailed plan from conservative groups. It outlines a way to shrink the government and change its focus. This plan has become a key guide for Trump's agenda. The project emphasizes reducing regulations and taxes. It aims to empower businesses and limit government intervention. These ideas resonate strongly with Trump's own beliefs. Key figures like Russell Vaught and Stephen Miller helped shape Project 2025. They are influential voices in Trump's ear. Their involvement shows the project's impact on Trump's decisions. While Trump doesn't openly advertise Project 2025, his actions speak volumes. His policies closely mirror the project's recommendations. This alignment worries some and excites others as they watch Trump's next moves. Trump is taking aim at the federal workforce. He wants to make it more efficient and accountable. His plan involves reclassifying federal employees, making it easier to dismiss them. Trump believes this will improve performance and reduce government waste. He wants to streamline the system and cut down on bureaucracy. However, these proposed changes are controversial. Federal workers' unions are pushing back. They fear unfair dismissals and a loss of job security. The debate over federal workforce reforms will be heated. Trump is determined to push through his changes, but he faces strong opposition from those who fear the consequences. Section four, decentralizing power, a move away from Washington. Trump wants to shift power away from Washington, D.C., aiming to decentralize the federal government. He proposes relocating federal agencies to different parts of the country, spreading their influence more evenly. This move aims to reduce the influence of lobbyists and entrenched interests that have long dominated the Capitol. Trump believes this will break up the concentration of power in the Capitol, making the government more representative. He wants to empower other regions and bring government closer to the people, fostering local engagement. This idea has generated mixed reactions from the public and political analysts alike. Some praise the potential for cost savings and increased efficiency, seeing it as a way to streamline operations. Others criticize it as disruptive and unnecessary, arguing it could lead to confusion and inefficiency. Trump's willingness to challenge the status quo is clear, as he pushes for significant changes. He is not afraid to shake up the traditional power dynamics in Washington, despite the controversy it stirs. The long-term impact of this decentralization push remains to be seen as the nation watches closely. Section 5. A Rocky Road Ahead, Opposition and Obstacles Trump faces a difficult path ahead, filled with numerous challenges and uncertainties. Implementing his ambitious agenda will require overcoming significant obstacles, both within and outside the political arena. 
Opposition from Democrats and even some Republicans could hinder his progress, creating a complex political landscape. Senate confirmations for his cabinet appointments will be crucial, as these key positions are essential for executing his policies. With a slim Republican majority, securing these confirmations may prove challenging, requiring strategic negotiations and alliances. Legal challenges are also anticipated, adding another layer of complexity to his administration's efforts. Trump's policies, particularly on immigration, are likely to face lawsuits, which could stall or block their implementation. Trump's border czar says administration will conduct workplace immigration raids incoming border czar. Tom Homan said Monday that President-elect Trump's administration will crank up workplace raids as part of its broader immigration crackdown. Speaking on Fox and Friends, the former director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, said workplace raids would address labor and sex trafficking. Where do we find most victims of sex trafficking and forced labor trafficking at work sites? Homan told Steve Ducey. But advocates say that approach is unlikely to help combat trafficking. Former Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director Tom Homan, who carried out one of the most controversial border policies during Donald Trump's first term, is set to return to the White House. The president-elect announced Homan will serve as border czar, tapped to fulfill Trump's campaign promise of the largest mass deportation in American history. Homan recently spoke with 60 Minutes. I hear a lot of people say, you know, the talk of a mass deportation is racist. It's, it's, uh, it's threatening to the immigrant community. It's not threatening to the immigrant community. It should be threatening to the illegal immigrant community. As ICE director, Homan led the zero tolerance policy that separated parents from their children at the border. The ACLU estimates between 500 and 1,000 families have yet to be reunited. When asked if there's a way to carry out mass deportations without separating families, Homan said this. Of course there is. Families can be deported together. Trump also weighing in on the new Republican-controlled Senate, saying whoever leads it must allow recess appointments. That would give Trump temporary power to fill vacancies without Senate approval. The issue came up in 2014 when the Supreme Court ruled against President Obama's use of recess appointments. He's conflating the traffickers with the people being trafficked, said Heidi Altman, director of federal advocacy at the National Immigration Law Center. Tom Homan is skilled at using public safety rhetoric to justify vicious tactics that tear families apart. Homan, an early proponent of the zero tolerance policy that separated more than 4,000 children from their parents in the first Trump administration, said he will prioritize public safety threats and national security threats for deportation as border czar. But Homan said foreign nationals with orders of deportation became a fugitive, suggesting immigrants without criminal records but with final orders of deportation, would be high on the list of deportation priorities. Homan told Ducey that the Biden administration has lost over 300,000 children that were smuggled in this country by criminal cartels, a reference to a debunked campaign claim voiced both by Trump and Vice President-elect J.D. Vance regarding a report published by the Homeland Security Office of Inspector General in August. According to the report, 291,000 unaccompanied children had not received a notice to appear in court as of May 2024, and a further 32,000 received a notice but did not appear. Those figures related to nearly 450,000 unaccompanied children released by ICE to the Department of Health and Human Services between October 2018 and September 2023, meaning a number of them were released by the first Trump administration. These legal battles could delay or even derail his plans, making it difficult to achieve his goals. Despite the challenges, Trump remains undeterred, showing resilience in the face of adversity. He is known for his determination and willingness to fight for his agenda, no matter the opposition. The coming years will reveal whether he can overcome the obstacles and deliver on his promises, shaping the future of the nation. This has been The Awakening. Black Women United, I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video.